This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! I'm gay. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, everyone. Let's just jump right in. We're examining the out courtyard. The outbreak. The, the courtyard. Well, it is COVID-19 outbreak right now. Right We've now. talked to everybody, but we really haven't looked around. It's a wicker crate. No, there are tires attached to it, so I guess it's a cart. It kind of smells like animals. They probably use this instead of a hand trolley at the circus. Just once, I'd like to ride one of those bad boys down a hill. Aha! Or maybe one of those office chairs with wheels! Doesn't that sound fun? What is she talking about? Apparently, I need no to phones mute. allowed during I know, this recording session. I know, apparently I need to mute Discord. You have Discord on your phone? Yeah. Interesting. I said I had no notifications! That's stupid. Okay. Just put it away. I put it away. Well, you were distracted last episode, too, so... Sorry. It's the very big oh, circus's Asian elephant, Astique. Supposedly very friendly with humans. Doesn't seem very friendly. It's your stern gaze, Mr. Edgeworth. It must think you're the boss. Are you comparing me to an animal? That's not what I meant. Um, I think it approves of you. That doesn't make me the least bit happy. That door is locked. Want me to pick the lock? Success is not guaranteed, though. No, if need be, I'll just borrow a key. Sheesh, I thought it was finally a chance for me to steal the spotlight. Don't even think about stealing anything in my presence. Not even the spotlight. It's my game. It's Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, Two Prosecutors Path, not Kay Faraday's. This is the stage where they put on the animal show. If I put on a great thief show, I wonder if anyone would come. I'm pretty sure the police would show up. <laughs> <laughs> We've already talked. Oh, I thought I thought if we talked to her, it would be like the conversation between those two. No, they're just like, <laughs> you're beautiful, Regina, darling. <laughs> you're beautiful. Yeah, that was the best, Regina. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> you're beautiful. What oh, are, what did he? What are you up? doing here? Ah, Mr. Attorney, how are we doing today? We're doing... Hey, we just met a few moments ago. Please do forgive me. Ever since I've come here, I've been working on refining my speech. That's not the only thing that needs refining. Right now, I'm helping out with the cleanup after the show. Ah, uh, but if there's anything you need, please let me know. You'll have my full cooperation. Well, I mean, how nice of you. I'm in the middle of volunteer work right now. As you can see, I am a model prisoner. I have been reborn inside this prison. Reborn as a thief. The, that was... The devil made me do it. <laughs> That's a great excuse. How can you blame the devil? You're a disgrace to thieves. I have nothing to say. I still have much to learn. Even oh, the devil wait. needs permission. <laughs> the devil... All I can think of now is the suggestion box in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. As a thief... But, as you can see, I've exchanged my bracelet for a working one. I will continue to devote myself to being a model prisoner. I can't see your pr your beautiful Br prison... Bracelet. Bracelet. Again uh, with the model prisoner. Give it a rest already. I'm saying person. Things kind of hurt him. Yeah, yeah. I'm training to pay my debt to society once I become eligible for parole. So, you were training instead of watching the animal show? So there were only two people who did not watch the show. Saw it and Dogen. Why didn't you say anything about Dogen earlier? Well, if you asked any inmate at this prison, they'd all think twice before telling you. That person is like the ruler of this place. He's like the king of the playground. <laughs> but it's from, from recess. King Bob. Is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> With the thumb. <laughs> Around here, we call him the supplier. The supplier? If you ask him nicely, he can provide you with anything you want. What? Is that allowed? Normally it's not allowed, but with him it's another story. He supposedly has a secret route to procure these goods. Why hasn't he escaped the prison? As the supplier, Dogen would be in a position of power. However, I've put all that behind me. All I care about now is applying mud packs to the animals. Mud packs? 
I coat the animal's fur with any mineral-rich mud packs to give it a beautiful shine. To help with my training, I give them to all the animals in prison. Each and every one of them. Even the parrot. <laughs> the parrot's like, what? <laughs> mud. Huh. Could be related to that piece of evidence. I should present it to him. Uh, what piece of evidence was the that The muddy again? glove, maybe? That's the rubber glove I dropped. Where did the mud on this glove come from? Ah! That's the mud from my mud packs! At the time, I was practicing applying my mud packs. He starts applying the mud pack on the human, like, Well, I'll make your hair so shiny when it goes in that car. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell me when this took place on the day of the incident? Since the animal show had started, I'd say it was around 9 a.m. The mud packs turned the animal's bodies pitch black, and my heart was pure white. I was totally engrossed with covering the animals in mud. <laughs> <laughs> I love how his voice just goes completely different. <laughs> Prison. <laughs> Prison life must be taxing on his stress levels. Rubber glove data updated in the organizer. That's been updated like twice now. Thanks to the warden's policies, I can undergo job training here. I owe her a debt of gratitude. I mean, I think it's great when, like, prisons do that. I mean, yeah. for prisoners who can be rehabilitated. Yeah, because there are and, plenty that can. Yeah, and honestly, of all the killers, saw it would be one of the ones who probably could be re rehabilitated. Because, again, he didn't, it wasn't, it like, wasn't a premeditated. Yeah. Right, it was, like, a spur of the moment, like, ah! And then, yeah. yeah. There was another person that was the same thing. Um. Um. Wasn't it... Was it banana? Bananas? Wellington bananas? Bananas Wellington. Yeah. <laughs> That's the grossest Wellington I've ever heard of. <laughs> Ew. Oh no, lord. No, um, no, the, because he literally. He, well, was he like, no, he intentionally pushed the guy off the cliff. He did, but he only did it because he was afraid that he was going to get in trouble for the phone. That's still. He totally yeah. tried to kill the guy though. He did. Um. Uh, no, I think you're right. There was like one. Person. There was one other person who was like, well. I feel bad for you. Oh, I do feel bad for, um, one of Dahlia's dumb boys that- the, the guy that died with the, the coffee. Oh, yeah. He yeah. killed himself. He killed himself, but, like... I'm trying to think- Oh, um, Cammy Meal from the airplane case, I think it was. She- I mean, she mm -hmm. pushed the guy over the railing and then he died, but... And she's like, yeah, that's kinda... But it was kind of a similar thing where she was yeah. just, like, scared. I owe her a debt of gratitude. I miss that girl. She was high as a kite. Yep. Literally. I think that was it. Ba, ba, da, ba, oh, it's a chair. Ugh, he looks so weird. Yeah, he's moving too fast, that's why. And his smile, it's like... <laughs> 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 yeah. If you can summarize a smile with a noise, that would be it. <laughs> 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 these were used for audience seating during the show. Folding up all these chairs must have been quite a chore. <laughs> Not if you go to church and help with the cleanup yeah, afterwards. when you pick up four chairs. <laughs> when, you're try when you're trying to impress the girls at church, you have like the t eight chairs, chairs on each arm. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. Very accurate. <laughs> when you tell girls you lift. Is that so? Don't tell me you've never tidied up folding chairs at a church before. <laughs> I've never been to church. I've delegated the task to others in the past. Mr. Edgeworth, you should try doing some manual labor once in a while. Hmm. I'll look into it. He was that guy. I won't rest. This crude looking well seems handcrafted. Was it built by the inmates? There's a bunch of tools lying around the well. A long piece of rope and a heavy looking weight. It weighs 33 pounds. It says so right there. Good thing they had translated that for the yeah. There's even a couple of pulleys. Okay, please stop touching other people's things. The stingy pants! That's the weirdest line I've seen from her. I'm just checking stuff out. It's not like I'm going to take them home with me. Still, these tools. What were they used for? Stingy pants. But really, I would have loved to show everyone yesterday. You did a wonderful job on the stage, Regina, darling. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. I'm glad all the prisoners came to see it. Well, about that. Just between you and me, not everyone came to see the show. That would be Dogen and Saw It, I imagine. There were three people who didn't see your show yesterday. Unbelievable, really. 
Excuse me, but did you say there were three prisoners who did not see the show? That's right. I took a count and there were three empty seats. And we even had the correct number of seats set out. Doesn't that seem weird to you, Mr. Edgeworth? It does. We had thought that Dogen and Sot were the only two prisoners. Who were not present in the courtyard during the show. But that doesn't add up. Where did the third person go? Further investigation is needed. Ah, I was having so much fun talking to you, Regina Darling, that I completely forgot. It's time to feed my baby. My baby? She loved the elephant. I love an elephant. Maybe not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's a croc. Oh, alligator. Look at the dead bones in the, in the side. <laughs> Skipper. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's an alligator! Oh, Allie, you look as cute as ever. Oh, how cute! So her name's Allie. Yup, she's Allie the alligator. She's my favorite out of all of my family. How lovely. I want to try petting it. If Regina Darling wants to pet it, go right ahead. I'll allow it. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. Regina dies. <laughs> That'd be funny. What's with the pose the warden has? <laughs> no! Now she's doing the god pose. <laughs> she's doing, like, Titanic, but for the, the alligator. <laughs> I'm king of the world. Yeah. Th they seem pretty relaxed. Excited. Ex excited <laughs> and relaxed. <laughs> well, we need to go check the prison cells, don't we? That's right. Let's go look for the third prisoner who didn't see the animal show. <laughs> Even the, the alligator's like, eh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. March 28th, 4.02 p.m., prison hallway. M Mr. Edgeworth, I finally found you, sir! Man, it's been forever, Gumshoe. It's been at least four recording sessions. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I take it the investigation is running smoothly? The judge and that prosecutor haven't shown up yet. Oh yeah, I also got your message, sir. What was the result of the examination of the victim's cell? We hit the jackpot, sir. Traces of the blood were found on the cell floor. There wasn't a whole lot there, though. This should prove that the murder occurred in the holding cell. Indeed. The probability has increased. However, we still cannot say for certain. I thought you'd say that, sir. So I asked the lab guys to look into it a little further. They're running an, an analysis of the blood, so we'll soon know if it's the victims or not. Way to go, Gummy! Good thinking! Detective, you've outdone yourself. What caused this sudden foresight? I'm actually a little hurt that you're so surprised by it, sir. I hope nothing bad comes of this. Wiped floor updated. Once we get the results, we can prove that the scene was in the holding cell. Which leaves... Finding out how the doggy managed to sneak his way in here. Just leave that to me, pal. Since the other prosecutor isn't here, we can investigate as much as we want. And then they walk <laughs> around the corner. That's why I brought my secret weapons with me. <gasps> Did we bring this up? <laughs> secret weapons? That's right, pal. They've gotten us out of a few jams before. Take a gander at Dick Gumshoe's seven secret weapons. <laughs> Looks like he'll come in handy. Want to take up him up on his offer, up Miles? Up Miles? Up my alley? Detective, please allow us the use of your secret weapons. Sure thing, sir! First, I'll give you a rundown. Secret weapon number one, the trusty metal detector! Stupid metal detector again! <laughs> Perfect for finding all kinds of metallic objects. That'll be working. As its name implies. Next, secret weapon number two, everyone's favorite pal, yeah! Missile! He can track any scent you want, especially the scent of food. He's much cuter than Mr. Dogen's dog. And then secret weapon number three. It's, um... My fishing pole? <laughs> this. <laughs> Isn't that a fishing pole? What are you trying to catch? No, actually, I just brought it by accident. We're gonna need it. Never mind that. What's next, detective? Um, that's all of them, sir. What? You called them the seven secret weapons! There's only three of them! That's all I have for now, pal! We can use the rest next time. 
I can't just reveal them all at once. Why do you think they're called secret weapons, pal? <laughs> Somehow I knew this. It doesn't matter. We'll just use the three that he's provided. All right, which one do you want to use? Fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> the fishing pole, if you please. The fishing pole, sir. There is a pond in the prison courtyard. Something important may have fallen in. Roger that, sir. I'll fish it out right away. The alligator is just there. Whoa, pal! What's the matter, Detective Gumshoe? It got away, sir! I thought I hooked something big, but the line snapped! <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a monster fish in there, sir! <laughs> it's likely that alligator. <laughs> I won't tell him that, though. <laughs> I guess the fishy pole won't be of any more use to us. <laughs> Try another one, sir. Alright, which one do you want to use? Obviously missile. You want missile, sir? Hey, pal. Over here, missile. Ah, oh, there he is! First, let's decide what scent he should track down. We are searching for the route do that Dogan's dog used to get to the detention center. This route would have also been the same path used to carry the body to the prison. So if we haven't tracked the scent of the body... That should lead us to the path! Hmm? Don't you smell something sweet? Really? All I can smell is the scent of blood. It's a very faint scent, like cake or something. Yeah. The scent of cake from the body? Someone said that the guy hates sweets. Not, not a... Simon. Nightly. Simon. All right, Missile. Get a good whiff of that scent, pal. Bark, bark. Come on, let's follow after him. That way is... He's heading towards the special cell. And he's gone straight inside. Yes, let's follow him. Make sure the big dog doesn't kill him. March 4th, March 28th, March 48th, we're in a different rea reality. March 48. 4 4.24 p.m. special cell. This is Dogen's cell, but it looks like he's absent at the moment. Maybe he's being interrogated. What's in here? Shh! I think he's found something. What could there be in this room? Mr. Edgeworth, we better take a look. I see the cake, and not the cake. I see the cookies with liberty for all. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's the theme song. It's the chisels Dogen uses. More than enough for him to murder someone with. Speaking of chisels, it kind of looks like someone used a chisel on your forehead, Mr. Edgeworth. And what is that supposed to mean? See? That furrow between your brows getting deeper. It looks just like a carving. I would leave the subject alone if I were you. Look at this, Mr. Edgeworth. There's a small chisel here. I'm not well versed in woodworking, but this seems to be a pocket-sized chisel. A pocket-sized chisel. It must be convenient to have one whenever you go. Is that from a thief's point of view? No, it's from the great thief's point of view. She didn't even skip a beat. Coffee. It's Dogen's chessboard. It still has that hound piece on it. Ah, the chessboard has legs! Aren't those things expensive? They can be. This is very good craftsmanship. Mr. Dogen playing chess is kind of unexpected, you know? I figured he'd be more of like a Go player or something like that. Go. Do you play Go, Kay? What's Go? I'm really good at Go Bang! Uh, Go is, like, another really strategic game, like chess. It's, like, one of, like, the... You have, like, tiles. I don't really know how to play it. Is it, like, um, Pie Show from Avatar? Like I mean, tiles? not really. Chinese checkers? It's No. I, you'll have to look it up yourself later. But it's, it's like, known as one of... Right Red alongside chess as one of the most strategic games there is. Yeah, Kay's good at it. Okay. She's good at Gabane. But that's not Go. Hmm? Missile, maybe? Is this what you're barking at? Whoa! Hey! Knock it off, pal! Chocolate cake is bad for dogs! 
That's how it's gonna be. I'll eat it all myself. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> good for you. But it looks like someone else has a problem with that. Oh, I thought the other dog was gonna come back and be like... <laughs> That's not fair, Gummy! I wanted to eat it too! I doubt it's wise to eat food you find lying around a prison. <laughs> anyway, I guess Miss was barking at the cake, sir. That was pointless. Is that police dog gonna get the job done? He's fine, pal! He was just following his stomach instead of his nose. Let's track down the scent of the body for real this time, Missile. Oh! Looks like he's found something else, sir! <laughs> it's cookies. <laughs> now it's this cell! This would be Mr. Elbert's cell. I'd like him to- I'd like to examine the interior. Detective Colgard. Roger that, sir! They have really weird voices, though. Oh. New guard, new voice. What should I give- <laughs> Unless you- No, nah, you, you do. Okay. Good work, detective, by the way. Is Jay Elbert still being held in the disciplinary room? Um, hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have already returned! <laughs> he was present during the noon roll call! He may have decided to work some boy film! I'm gonna cry! I see. <laughs> well then, may we examine the cell? Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. I'm just like, uh... It's so good. <laughs> oh, lord. <laughs> oh, he has a droid in his room. A droid? Yeah, do you see it? That's a punching bag. No, behind, down, that thing. That's, That's a droid. Giving the prisoners a heater is careless. No. They're much too lenient here. Did this guy use the heater every day? <laughs> it was probably for his weight management, since training was his hobby. Wouldn't his partner Rocky get too hot? I think their combination is hot enough. Go. There's nothing unusual about this area, but there are boxing gloves. There I wanted to examine the boxing gloves. gloves. Rocky is written here in messy handwriting. <laughs> Could this be the bear's toy? This prisoner seems very close to his unusual partner. Ah, oh, this takes me back! Didn't you play with stuff like this when you were a kid? No, I don't recall doing that. Well then, what did you play with when you were younger? Chess, golf, and the flute. Things like that. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you have any friends? Well, why must you be so concerned about that? He played the flute? I want to hear that. I need that fanfiction. <laughs> of, like, Edgeworth's uh, high school flute recital. <laughs> but Manfred's just like, this is If terrible. you make even one mistake, I'm leaving. And you have to walk home. <laughs> and that, or you have to go home on Francisca's tractor. tractor. <laughs> if it was Edgeworth in high school, Francisca wouldn't be old enough to drive the tractor. Uh, how many years apart are they? Edgeworth's like 25 and she's like 19, so they're like six years apart. If he was a, if he was um, 17 in high school and she was like 12, I drove a tractor when I was 12. Not like down the streets though. Uh, Manfred von Karm was very trusting of Francisca. <laughs> ah, there's a poster of Mr. Elbert on the wall. And what's this next to it? Is this his weight loss target? Hmm, he was a former boxer. He probably continued with his weight management. It seems he also takes various protein supplements. Oh, I thought those were drugs. <laughs> he also takes steroids. <laughs> yeah, muscle protein, hustle protein. Why do you need hustle protein? <laughs> weight loss protein. Nothing but protein. Which weight class was he aiming for? Mr. Edgeworth, how many minutes do you think this hourglass goes for? Albert is a former boxer, so I'd say three minutes. In a boxing match, each round lasts for three minutes. Bzz, wrong! 
Um, the correct answer is around two minutes. Why? Well, because the glass is cracked and some sand is spilled out. What? How could I have missed that? Also, I'm very curious to see if it's like, oh, somebody's pet, like, could get them out of prison because oh. they could... Oh, woof, woof, woof. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you want a box two missile? Yeah, I totally didn't read that. Sorry, missile interruption. Ha <laughs> Look at him go! It can't be. Detective, move this sandbag at once! Y yes sir! Dude. A hole? This is... Hey! Missile! Come back here! I'm going to! Hold it! I'll stop them, sir! Ugh, it's too tight for me, sir! De detective It cannot be helped. I'll have to wait for her to contact me. Are we gonna play as K? There's that awkward guard. Hello? K? Are you alright? Don't get so worked up! Right now I'm in the detention center! The detention center? That hole comes out at nightly cell! Really? Stay where you are! I'm coming over there right now! But I wanted to go! I wanted to go in there! <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, I literally gave him the loud Howard voice from Dilbert. You did. Wait, was it coming out of the toilet? <laughs> Where are they coming from? Well, I think we're gonna find out. March 28, 5.04 p.m., the toilet. No. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> I really helped out, didn't I? Indeed. She doesn't appear to be injured. The floorboards have been ripped out from under the bed, sir! Nobody noticed? I see. It seems we found what we were looking for. The passageway between the detention center and the prison is blocked by solid doors. However, there was a secret underground tunnel beneath it. We were following a sweet scent and arrived here. That means... The scent must have come from Knightley's body. Crime scene notes updated. Maybe he got, like, injured a little bit because he jumped through the hole. Which has, like, oh. open baseboards. <laughs> it's like... Ow. So many splinters. <laughs> come to think of it. His body was covered in dirt. It may have been caused by passing through the tunnel. Kay, what was the inside of the tunnel like? It was pitch black, so I really couldn't see much, but I took some photos. Please show us. That's not pitch black. That's because she's using the flash. Oh. Mm, this is spoons and forks. Were these used to dig the tunnel? But more importantly, what are these footprints? These footprints. Could they belong to a dog? Or do they belong to a panda? Not a panda. A polar bear! Tunnel footprints jotted down. This will surely be vital evidence. However, before we consider that, we have a big problem. A problem? J. Elbert could use this tunnel to move around freely. Detective, confirm his whereabouts post-haste. Perhaps he's... Y you may be right. Sir, this is a big deal. Let's confirm. After speaking with the guards and their weird voices, the search for J. Elbert was carried out immediately. They searched every nook and cranny of the detention center and the prison. But in the end, they found no sign of him. Or the... March 28th, 5.34pm. So oh man. All the weird ones. I'll try at least one. Did you contact the police? You can do this. Yes, ma'am. We've already done that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we set up a security perimeter around the prison, ma'am. Right. This is the first scandal in our prison's history. We're so sorry. She's completely different from before. No, she's not. Mr. Edgeworth, was it? Thank you for finding the escapee's tunnel. But it's a little too late. Mr. Elbert's long since left here. I don't believe he has gone beyond the detention center. There are security gates located at the exit of the detention center. I believe it would have been difficult to get through those, wouldn't you agree? Maybe he has another tunnel. Maybe he stole one of the prison guards' uniforms from the clo from the locker. Oh, coming up the theories now. We certainly can't deny that possibility. However, 
Anyway, there's no use in you being here now. Please return to your investigation. Yes, we'll do that. You guys get back to your posts, too. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fancy officer. Oh. Give him, like, actually an okay voice. Give him, like, an upstanding citizen voice. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, sir! We've got the results of that blood test you requested. Good work, pal! These are the forensic results on the blood stain found in Knightley's cell. So what's it say, Mr. Edgeworth? The blood is confirmed to have been Knightley's. She's like, this is fascinating. <laughs> hey now, that's good news. We found the blood stain in Natalie's cell and discovered the tunnel the dog used. I'm wondering if, like, maybe this lady's wearing the most insanely gigantic coat because she's gotten bit by a dog or an alligator or something. Oh. And she's just like, ugh, gotta like, hide all this crap. <laughs> it is March, though. It could just be cold. But, like, Kay's not cold. She's wearing a tight, tight. She's like, an skirt. anime girl. That doesn't they have mean to anything. wear skirts that go, like, barely to their calves. <laughs> not even. Their thighs. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, calves are lower. That's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Furthermore, the security camera shows footage of a dog attacking Knightley in his cell. We have all the evidence we need. It's time we ask Dogen a few questions. Dogen, did you say? Please use the utmost caution. That man even has our henchmen outside of the prison. Not our henchmen. <laughs> I have henchmen! No, that man even has henchmen outside of the prison. Outside of the prison? Is this related to his secret trade routes as the supplier? The police have been searching for Dogen's henchmen for ages. I've also been helping them, but... So that means back then... Oh, uh, this was also your guard. So we still won't talk? Even after all the trouble you went through to get the evidence transferred from the precinct? <laughs> I just am gonna go higher and higher and higher and higher. <laughs> That's right. I don't know how many times I've tried. I can't report back empty handed. That assassin sure is one tough cookie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember his voice. <laughs> you had the evidence transferred from the precinct? Yes, we borrowed all the evidence concerning Dogen. Oof. <laughs> I've been interrogating him personally in my office. That sounds wrong. But, no matter how much evidence we have on him, we can't get a single word out of him. The warden interrogates him herself? Why go that far? Lose your focus and he'll eat you alive. Be on your guard. Whoa, you've made Uncle Ray a little nervous. Waka waka. March oh, 28th. Look who, look who the oh, it's the it's British hour. Law. Well, we'll have to do British hour next time. Oh, um, jolly good then. Oh, hip hip, cheerio, crumpets, <laughs> uh, uh, potatoes. <laughs> How to offend Brit? <laughs> We've got to take a break for our brekkie, <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. How can we make the guards' voices even weirder? I genuinely don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad of my spit. <laughs> oh man, we this is the no, this is either the worst or the best. This Let's play. The best. This is the best. One of the best. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless. Pop pop might be better though. I don't know about that. Pop pop's pretty good. Pop pop was short. It was short. <laughs>